season five is actually today it, it, it's coming out but i'm recording this the day before and all my characters if you look at them all they're they're all they, they have nothing they have nothing on them so i need to re-up all of these so that when i stream tomorrow for season five all my characters have some juice so we can go out and try some of the new stuff that gets added right and the number one thing we're going to need is stealth vests on all these characters because i play solo stealth vest is my best friend and in today's video i'm going to have you come along on this journey so that i show you the best way of me getting stealth vest as fast as possible and i am going to show you one way that is actually just a door you just open a door and you're guaranteed a stealth vest but if you don't have the key i'm going to show you how i go and get the game console the encrypted usb and also the comic book so let's get going as we're loading in here you guys i do want to let you know the gun i'm using is a tempest torrent i have a, a whole video on this gun build but oh someone popped in there by mistake um and then i'm also uh have level one armor i have a level one backpack we're we're naked as can be we've got uh stims i always use stims unless i have first uh self revives which i don't i have semtex going and an ammo box so we're completely just pretty much level one everything except for this juicy juicy tempest torrent also remember guys if you do end up enjoying this video i want you guys to sub to the channel because you know what it's free for you guys it means the world to me also i'm i, I stream this stuff live on twitch.tv slash geeksay come by say hello and uh yeah let's jump into the game i guess i'm always like okay what spawn do we get a eh? juicy juicy and i'm gonna show you like we're gonna break down everything for you guys on on what i would do right away uh where my favorite areas are everything i'm gonna show you it all guys this is not a good spawn not at all <laughs> let's see that map hopefully we can bring it up here in a second there we go uh first things first i will want to grab a helicopter it doesn't look like there's one near me is there one over here rohan no there there's one there okay well we have an ltv the next best thing at least it's armored right so i'm gonna go to an electronic store which is one of my favorite areas uh to find the game console we're near it so let's 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 by the power of editing I'll, I'll just take you to it so my number one place to find game consoles and actually comic books are these electronic stores sometimes they're like grocery stores but there's there's sometimes actually electronic stores and grocery stores next to each other but as you can see we're at one it's this rectangle uh it's in Almazra city just above the police station and i'm going to show you i'm not going to go to every single one on the map but you know what by the power of editing of course i'm just going to pause it right here and we're going to go show you the ones that i do know about so far so i definitely don't know where they all are for sure but i know where a few of them are and with wzhub.com if you guys don't know this website it's unreal for maps locations i don't think it has the locations for holy shit wz hub does have supermarkets oh my god so there's not okay so technically they're not oh my god this just blew my mind and i'm going to show you the ones i didn't know but um technically i guess they're not electronic stores and grocery stores they're just supermarkets okay well the one we are at right now is right here we've got another one just above almazra city these two are some of my favorite ones that are out east because this is always a buy station then we have two just so the reason i love these two is because if you don't find the game consoles here there's just across the river here there's another two and then uh you got oh i didn't know about this one in the south i didn't know about that one i did know about this one and then across the street at the mall is another one and i didn't know about this one my mind is blown that wz hub has these all holy man i this website's goat man it's honestly goat and we're going to use it again later on but yeah there's where all the supermarkets are and trust me these are amazing for consoles and getting your comic book now that uh you guys know where a lot of at least the electronic stores i know about are let's go see if there's one in here i haven't even been in here yet and you know there's not going to be one because i want there to be okay there is always a lot of plates which is nice usually i can find a comic book there's the comic book i never even even looked at the cover oh it's like a science unexplained science okay well we got our comic book 
and of course no game console but there is a good chance for them to be in these like grocery slash electronic stores i think this one's a grocery store yeah i think this one's a grocery store and the other ones are electronic store i don't i don't know i'll show you another electronic store in a second but because we're over at the police station this is an area that i will tell you to go for if you are go going to grab encrypted usbs now encrypted usbs are really difficult to get and you know my my secondary places that i'm going to hit for encrypted usbs are going to be banks and police stations uh let the power of magic of editing i'll show you where they all are I i'm still sitting here really like holy crap they have them you know what i mean and they're not even grocery store anyways sorry i thought they were separate anyways so we're going to take off the supermarkets and we're going to go look at the banks. There should be six of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then there's three police stations right here. Now, police stations and banks are something that you should know, like the back of your hand. They're so important. They have so many items inside of them. Uh, you know, banks are good for skulls. They're good for gold bars, money in general. Police stations are good just for general loot. It's just these two uh, points of interest are, are something that if you're new to the DMZ, start trying to learn where these are, you know, take it by going to hub and just trying to hit them when you're near them. Like, you know, if you can put it on your iPad or your phone and try to hit them, make a make a, a, a goal of it, maybe one run to be like, I'm going to hit I'm going to hit four banks on this one, you know, make it a goal, you know, because it's very much worth it to know these like the back of your hand now these locations are definitely amazing for just all types of loot but they do have a lot of computers in them right so uh, uh police stations uh, on the top floor have a bunch of them so right here there's always one we're just going to quickly look let's see if we can let's see if we can get one in in one of these oh there's an encrypted if i wanted a comms vest no nope. so how i'm doing it so fast just let you guys know all i'm looking for is a thousand dollars down here that's what i'm quickly doing i'm just quickly scanning how much do they cost if i don't see the thousand then i don't even bother there's still some more computers in this this location here locate cash reward contracts on your tax map okay this like i said are good secondary locations to try to find the encrypted usb stick but they're actually not my favorite and i will show you my favorite locations for those encrypted usbs right now now because i like you guys i'm going to show you the two places that i go for encrypted usbs that don't get hit that often and i know after this video they're going to get hit a ton but you know what i'd rather help you guys out than try to gatekeep uh info or info you know so here's the first one we're going to go to it's this little uh square building that has like a court in it so here's almazra city it's just to the west and as you can see there's like this little little square and it's the courtyard kind of thing or the stairs but what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and what we're going to look for is all these computers that are just a ton of these computers in this area and it's it's just a circle right it's just a circle you're gonna there's two of these rooms that have a bunch of computers in them all around so we're gonna hit every single one oh don't mind if i do how do you do eh okay okay buds so there's another one of these rooms though there is one more here it is again lots of computers in here yeah because i'm trying to find it i'm not going to get it okay so there's this location right this is the this is the square building the courtyard building whatever you want to call it then the next area i want you to go to is this one right here okay it's really close and uh i think it's like the game studio i think that's what it is but it's another location doesn't get hit that that much 
and uh, it has a bunch of computers in it. So let's go. Let's go over there. Okay, so now this building has two floors again. Both floors do have a lot of computers in them. So here's the first one. And we found our encrypted USB. Awesome. And I'm going to just show you now all the computers that are around here, right? So there's more. Then I think it's through. Nope, not this one. Here's the thing, you guys. So there's still lockers here. There's still a chance to find comic books if you don't have one and game consoles and lockers actually i know game consoles are still pretty rare in the in the lockers but if they're there why not loot them right so there's that one air that uh one room with the, all the uh, computers then there's this one here we got another six nothing back here i don't think right no so there's another six here and then we'll go down to the basement sorry let me just go down there And in the basement, there's these computers right here. Then through this door, there's actually another two here. Then one up top. And then through this door, we've got this side room with another three. Now, if you still... Oh, VC, VCRs, man. When I'm trying to find Stealth Vest and get the game console, these are the bane of my existence. Okay, the bane of my existence. Get out of here, VCRs. So, like I was saying before, though... You know when when you're looking for uh when you, when you're looking for the encrypted usb drive or even the game console those police stations are unreal right the police stations are really good the other good thing about this location right we have that that square place we've got the uh the other um game development studio and then right here is a bank so if you still haven't found it yet you can just hit the bank over here i did see a player car he's going away okay cool um so we can just hit that bank over here so if you still need to find the encrypted usb well guess what banks also have uh oh shoot 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 Activity shoo. is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta shoo away the flies, you know? So, anyways, so not only are banks, of course, great for money, uh, but there are a bunch of computer parts in them, or a bunch of computers, sorry. You know, when you go into these rooms, you're gonna find a bunch of these computers. Most of the time it's just solo computers, but some room rooms have two, and every floor has at least uh, four computers. Sometimes, like I said, they have two, but most of the time it's like four to five on, on each floor. Another really good place for you to try to find an encrypted USB. Oh, by the way, they took my vehicle. <laughs> they took my vehicle. Uh, okay, so if you go to your police stations or if you go to your banks or you go into uh, those two areas that I showed you and they you still haven't found an encrypted USB, I'm going to show you one last area. It gets hit very often because there's a spawn right next to it, but let's try to give it a go. Oh, they took my they took my vehicle. Anyways, now we're just outside of a building that probably has actually the most computers in it, to be honest, or at least one of. We're talking about just south of the police academy here is this rectangular building. It has so many computers in it, but the reason I say you know you can go to it last or if you want to you can hit this first right over the gate if you want but there is a spawn uh right near this and here's the thing a lot of people hit it not only for encrypted usbs but just for items that they need but here's the thing look at it from the outside of the window i can tell this hasn't gotten hit yet because the door is not open right all these doors would be open if they got hit so this is an um, unbelievable location for hitting computers because every single one of these rooms has at least one to two computers, sometimes three in them. The banks, the uh, the police stations that I showed you, those two special computer rooms that not many people know about, and this one, you're going to find an encrypted USB. And if you, I've I've never went and looked for a stealth vest and get try to get my encrypted USB, hit those places and never not found one. 
right? It might take a while. I'm not going to deny that. It might take you a while to get an encrypted USB, but those will be enough places for you to deal with. Uh, now, we don't have the game console yet, right? We don't have the game console yet, but we are going to go to an electronic store. And actually, one of my favorite electronic stores because it's right next to this buy station. And this buy station is always 100%. So this is the grocery store. This is the electronic store. So let's jump in there. We now know though that they're all considered supermarkets. I don't know where I got this one's a grocery store, one's electronic store from. Like it's been ingrained in me for a while. But now that I know that they're just all supermarkets, I'm actually really happy. Yeah, because I used to favor one over the other. I used to be like, okay, this is an electronic store. That's a grocery store. So it's better to go to the... I'm so happy that are just all the same but i i have a good feeling about this one yeah right there boom game console mm. plates so we got our game console now like i said this one's always so good to me i'm not gonna lie to you this one's so good to me next to this buy station it always is now we can just go buy it luckily for us luckily for us there wasn't a lot of players here you know um i know it's gonna kill you guys but i am selling the jeep or creeper i don't need it uh so yeah one of those okay so now we got we had everything i showed you all my little nooks and crannies you guys i really didn't hold out on you i hope if you know some locations that i'm not saying you don't gatekeep them you kind of share them with the community but if you want to gatekeep your areas hey i get it no worries uh, but I did tell you guys that there is a door you can open for you guys to get a guaranteed stealth vest. It's on Almazra. L let me let me go show you it. Okay, so we got Gus, our OG character. He's got his stealth vest, a, a self revive. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go with the rat. I'm gonna use the Tempest Torrent again. We're gonna go in with everything we did last time. But to get into this room. You do need a skeleton key and only a skeleton key. It's actually the only key that works on this door. So I now you're saying, yes, but it's so hard to get. And I agree with you. It's super hard to get skeleton keys. Don't get me wrong. We're going to load in. It is very hard. But if you can get one or two uh, and you don't want to go through what I just went through, I'm going to show you why this room's amazing. Now, any veteran in DMZ knows exactly what I'm about to do first thing once I load in here and that is to make sure I still have my skeleton key on me because <laughs> sometimes if, if you don't know sometimes DMZ eats some things you know what I mean now the smartest thing isn't to go in with a skeleton key without self revives as a solo player it's actually really 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 dumb but I want to do it for the content actually LTV LTV is what I want Okay, let's silently kill these guys. Shh. Yes. Now, where I want to go is to the observatory. Okay, we're going to want to go there. There's a couple of areas you can go for this, but the observatory I like. Because not many people go up to the observatory right away. You know what I mean? Not many people hit it up. So, yeah, we'll go around and, and hit it. There's actually two ways to go about uh, getting to the location that we want to uh observatory jumping off observatory is one of them the other location you can jump from is actually this tower right here you can climb up the tower and then jump to the location we're about to but you have to fight a bunch of ai that's usually over here so lately i've been just going to the top of observatory and, and jumping myself here so where we're going to want to land just to let you guys know which really sucks because of, of course they did this so we're gonna have to wait I think they're going to be trying to hit this because we want to go right here. Um, I don't know if they're going to, though. But we're definitely going to wait and see. Okay, the UAV has gone. Let's just go for it. F it. Enemy operator secured a weapons case. I'm sweaty. Their location on your attack map. Ultra One, be advised. Enemy threat is high in the AO. Oh, I almost missed it, you guys. Okay, so here we are. So here we are. I'm going to show you my location again. It's this rectangle. Rectangle. 
Okay, take two. It's this rectangular rectangle. Take three. Hey guys, I'm on this rectangle right here. Check it out. Okay, so anyways, this is where you want to go. There is two doors, so make sure um, you don't waste your, your key in case someone uh, already went to, say, the side door, and then you open up this door with a skeleton key and waste a charge. I just did that the other day, actually. But you can hear a whole bunch of stuff in here. So let me show you why this area is so good. Boom. Three plates, comms vest. Boom. Large backpack, large backpack stealth vest a uh, bunch of money and there's usually a three plate vest here too actually there's usually just a plain three plate vest wow we got a two plater here too uh you know what i'll take that as backup so we got twenty four thousand dollars um we got twenty four thousand dollars a comms vest a stealth vest two large backpacks come on right it used to be actually called the sniper's nest i think but now they just recently changed it to i guess the skeleton room i don't know either way the only key that works on this is the skeleton key but man is it good eh now let's get the f out of here boys i do want to tell you this though that the comms vest and the stealth vest are the guaranteed items in there everything else is random you're not always guaranteed the backpacks or anything else like that but the stealth vest and the comms vest are 100% spawn in there. So with Gus, I was able to show you the good old fashioned barter way where I find everything. And then with Reyes, my rat, I showed you the skeleton key room. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. If you have anything to add, hey, put it down in the comments below. I don't know everything about this game. I know a lot, but I'm always getting new information from the community like yourself. So if you want to add anything and help other people out in the community, put it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hey, think about subscribing. It's free for you guys. It means the world to me. Also, I do stream four days a week on twitch.tv slash geeksay. I stream Tuesday to Friday starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I really hope to see you there. Okay, so until next time, I'll talk to everyone later.